Wenji here, welcome back to my channel and today is all about glasses. So I'm going to be teaching you how to pick your frames and I'm also going to be sharing some really important tips for makeup when you're wearing glasses. Hey guys, I'm shooting in Manila right now for a reality show which is actually really exciting but I just want to let you guys know that this is a paid advertisement. Full disclosure guys and let's get on with the video. First, the shape of the frames are probably the most important part. A good rule to remember is pick a shape that contrasts to your natural face shape. Round faces look better in square frames as it adds and emphasizes angular features on your face. Square faces are complemented by round frames as it softens and focuses your eyes on the rounder features. Longer faces have more length. You suit frames that are taller in height, which balances out the vertical line. To make a shorter face appear longer, you basically just pick a shorter frame. A really good rule of thumb is to remember the frames should sit underneath your eyebrows as well as above your cheekbones unless you're going for a really unique shape. The width of your frames are also super important. A frame that is too wide can make your eyes look really close together which is completely unflattering and a frame too narrow can make your face seem wider. You just need to try on a bunch of frames and probably take selfies with them. When you find the right one, you'll know. Lighter frames are more comfortable. 1001 Optical carries Piovino frames that are incredibly light. You can bend these frames over 180 degrees and even step on them without breaking them. Seriously, the first time I saw this, I didn't believe it. These frames are perfect if you're a complete klutz like me and if you want to find out how to get a free pair of these from 1001 optical please stay to the end of the video for people like me with low nose bridges often our frames sit on our cheeks and move when we smile this is because the nose piece is too low Piovino frames have higher nose bridges to suit an Asian face which is why they're worn by k-pop stars all over Korea pick an optical store that can customize the nose piece for you this is so important because you want these frames to sit properly. I have a pair of lenses that are amazing because they cut out all the harmful blue light that comes from screens and LCD monitors. In addition, you want to consider a UV protection coating or you can buy a pair of glasses that are convertible into sunnies. I honestly think these ones are so cute by Piovino and I've never seen a funkier pair of convertible sunny glasses. I love natural makeup when it comes to glasses, so I'll teach you a natural brown smoky makeup look to wear with your glasses. First of all, apply a light watery based foundation so it doesn't smear on your frames. Thick and oily foundations causes so much trouble when it gets on your lenses. Glasses can also cast a shadow, making your under eyes and cheekbones appear darker. Apply a lighter colored concealer underneath your eyes where your glasses sit in a triangle. Next, find out where your glasses touch your face and make sure you blend out these areas with a damp sponge so that the makeup applied to these areas aren't too thick and then use a face powder to lightly powder this area to set it because you want this makeup to sit on your face and not your glasses. Now eyebrows are visually emphasized when you wear glasses so clean brows are a must and really frame your frames. <laughs> Excuse the pun. I'm just using a brow pencil to draw clean lines. A really good thing to remember is that the thicker your frames the bolder your brows can be and the thinner frames suit a soft and more natural brow. Also, the more angular your glasses are, think of having a more angular brow to complement them. Finish off with a brow gel to keep your brow hairs in place all day. Apply eyeshadow primer before your shadow because you don't want your eye makeup to come off and smear on your lenses, especially if you have oily lids like me. Then apply a skin colored matte shadow on top of the primer so that our eyeshadows blend well over it and don't just catch and stick on the primer. Apply a medium matte brown all over your lids. I prefer matte neutral shades as it looks very natural underneath glasses. Now take a blending brush and blend out the edges of the color you just applied. Now now apply a darker matte brown along your lash line and take a medium brown and apply this closer to the lower lash line as well for some definition. Now apply a highlighting color to your lower waterline, your inner corners to brighten up your eyes and then take the same color and apply it on your brow bone blending it down. Next, take a dark brown pencil liner and just define the upper waterline and lash line extending out slightly. Thicker frames actually call for thicker and bolder liner, whereas I have thin frames which meant I wanted to keep my liner subtle, as well as the lower lash line. Also, placing the pencil liner below your waterline makes your eyes look rounder, whereas placing your pencil on the waterline will actually make your eyes look thinner. Now, you don't want your lashes to stick on your lenses and smear, so we're going to have to curl our lashes well before applying mascara. 
If your lenses are too close to your eyes, it may be because the nose piece is too low for you. A taller nose piece ensures that your glasses sit further away from your lashes. Use a waterproof mascara so that it doesn't smear during the day. Again, the thicker the frame, the thicker your lashes will need to be to balance out the look. Now you want to apply highlighters where the frame will cast shadows on your face. So put your frames on and apply a highlighter on your cheekbones where it covers it up, blending towards your temple, forehead, nose bridge, cupid's bow and chin. Basically where you normally apply a highlighter. Wearing glasses may also put a huge emphasis on your nose so contouring and shaping this can really enhance your look. Put your frames on and contour your nose bridge where it's showing. This means you don't put too much product on the places where your frames touch your face as well as putting more contour on places where a shadow will be cast by your frames. I also like to contour where my nose meets my cheeks to make that area look thinner as well as below my nostrils to shorten my nose. Now take the glasses off and blend your contour to the areas covered by glasses so that we don't put too much product there. Contouring the rest of your face is also personal preference but my frames are angular so I like to use it to make my cheekbones look more angular to match. Keeping the frames on gives me a great guide on how it will look while I'm wearing it. It's also useful to see where to apply more highlighter as well. I'm adding more highlighter in the areas underneath the arms of my glasses because they can also cast a slight shadow there so emphasizing this place can make your cheekbones pop and look amazing. Blush placement is also important to do with your frames on. Your blush should sit in the middle of your face with the stronger color being applied at the bottom of your frames so they show. This ensures that the blush color can be seen while you're wearing your glasses. I'm also using a peachy coral color that suits our brown makeup, blending the blush out from this placement. Lips are also a huge focal point when wearing glasses and coral peachy tones for the lips are very natural and flattering for thinner frames like mine. Bold frames are very flattering with bold lip colors so you may consider that option as well. I'm using a lip liner to get a clean lip line and a peachy color lip gloss to finish off the look. I'm also contouring the edge of my forehead because I forgot to do this earlier and it can really help make your forehead appear thinner. So yeah, that's it, we're done. 1001 Optical are giving you a free pair of frames if you get your lenses prescribed in store and you can also claim this on your healthcare fund. My prescription is actually like 4.0 so I'm actually pretty blind without glasses. If you found this video helpful in any way or you're a glasses wearer, please take a couple of seconds and press that thumb up button.